Residual valuation, or what is also known as residual method, is used to value property with development potential. Development potential is when a property or a site can be improved upon or developed so that the value will increase. Sometimes a development site can be valued using comparable evidence if there are sufficient transactions of similar properties. Very often, however, there is no direct evidence available. This is where the residual valuation method should be used. The residual valuation formula used is gross development value or value when completed less costs and profit equals sum available for land purchase. The sum available for land purchase represents the maximum price a developer will pay for the property as it stands. The developer will also take into account other costs, such as stamp duty, legal and surveyor's fees. The residual method can be used on different development schemes, such as new buildings on a cleared site, redevelopment of sites where demolition of existing buildings is required, and finally refurbishment of existing buildings. The method itself can be used for three main purposes. Calculating a value for the development site to sell on the open market. Calculating the expected profit from a scheme where the land is already owned by the developer or the purchase price is a known factor. Or establishing maximum costs required for the development whereby the land cost and profit are known. The gross development value is determined by utilising the site as the most cost effective approach providing the more profit. The gross development value is calculated using comparative valuation method or investment method of valuation. Building costs are calculated using comparable scheme costs or estimates from the original plans of the development. It is important to note that a contingency sum is usually used for the building costs and is normally 5% of the total cost of works. There are some problems associated with the residual method of valuation. There are many assumptions of costs involved, which is something to take into account, e.g. building costs include a contingency sum, and costly problems may occur later on in development, which may result in reduced profits. Another problem that may occur is calculating the gross development value, which takes into account current comparative values, rather than the comparative values when the development is completed e.g. there may be a change in the market such as inflation.